Thank you for watching this regional forecast for the Canadian Prairie. I'm Andrew Pritchard, meteorologist with Nutrient Act Solutions. Well, temperatures over the next 10 days, they're going to average maybe a few degrees cooler, especially where uh, we've got some snow on the ground, a little thicker snowpack. But we're going to see some shots of warmth here and riding a bit of a roller coaster over the next 7 to 10 days, which we'll take a look at uh, in just a moment. Now the precipitation forecast is dry over the next three to four days, but then we have a couple of systems that we have to watch as we get into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday that could bring a little stripe of snow here to portions of the, uh, the Canadian prairie. And temperatures right now on the cool side, anywhere uh, between negative 15 and negative 20 here on this Friday morning as we endure one of those shots of cooler air across the prairie right now. Uh, the satellite picture is rather clear, a pretty uh, uh, beautiful day really across much of the prairie as high pressure moves across the region bringing in those cooler temperatures but the quieter weather right now uh, the radar is quiet across the uh, the prairie on this friday morning as well now those colder temperatures they're going to continue to move across the area with warmer temperatures beginning to slowly move in from the west as we head into the end of the weekend and early next week and that is as high pressure begins to depart the radar going to be clear as we head through the weekend though with that high pressure moving from west to east across the region it's not until we get into uh, maybe sunday we could see some very very light snow flurries across portions of the prairie, but not talking about any really accumulating snow with that late weekend snowfall. It's not until, again, we get to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we could talk about a corridor of more uh, significant measurable snowfall. So we'll look at that here with the European model taking it a bit longer, understanding again, we're seeing the flow come up and over the top of that ridge in the Gulf of Alaska. And not until Tuesday or Wednesday do we see a system kind of follow this trajectory uh, where we can get some of that pre precipitation uh, to swing in here through the Corn Belt, or the Corn Belt, the Canadian Prairie, I apologize. All right, so let's take a look at this in motion. We'll start it here, uh, understanding that the weekend is rather dry. We see that chance for maybe a flurry on Sunday, but here comes that system following that trajectory down uh, along the coast and then swinging in here across the prairie as we get into uh, uh, the Tuesday and Wednesday time frames. So this would be Monday night, maybe seeing some snow north of Highway 16 in Alberta, that area of low pressure ejecting now over southern Alberta and then swinging into central and southern Saskatchewan as we get into the early morning hours on Tuesday with snow on the back side there uh, with the more significant right now looking like it would be kind of a near Highway 16 in uh, Saskatchewan and then swinging into north central portions of Manitoba as we get into, into uh, Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. Then details remain very mucky, uh, very unclear as we get into the end of the next week, but it looks like we may see another system swing in through at least areas uh, on the north end of the prairie and maybe north of Highway 16 as we get into the end of next week. So let's look at the GFS. It has a very similar picture. That was the European model. Uh, we can look at the GFS here and watch the same thing happen with this system as we get into early next week. So quiet for the weekend, maybe a snow flurry, uh, maybe a light snow shower across the front range here in southwestern Alberta uh, Sunday morning but really a dry weekend shaping up for the prairie. It's as we head into Monday now, getting into Monday night, Tuesday morning, we see this storm system beginning to eject across the prairie. Now the GFS is further south and a little bit more intense than the European and the Canadian model. So it is an outlier with some of the heavier snow near the US border as we head through Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. We'll look at some of the accumulation here uh, from, the, from a few different models, looking at the total accumulation through Monday, understanding that we are dry uh, across the prairie uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, and Monday with no real measurable snowfall expected unless you head well to the north uh, or well to the, uh, the front range and some of the higher elevation areas here. Now as we take this through the next week looking at Friday, uh, here's where we have the Tuesday, Wednesday snow uh, on each of the models, the, the European here, the GFS, and then the, the Canadian model as usual. And again, noticing that the GFS is the further south model, the more robust snow with the 10 to 20 centimeters near the US border. Uh, whereas the uh, European and the Canadian model a little bit more uh, locked in with that 5 to 15 centimeter amount uh, kind of in the uh, the Highway 16 corridor maybe a little bit further south than that as you get into Alberta and Saskatchewan but this is Tuesday Wednesday and then this would be uh, Wednesday Friday snow north of uh, Highway 16 uh, but again flipping it back looking at the total snow through Monday over the next 90 hours looking dry across the Canadian prairie Temperatures, I said it's going to be a roller coaster ride, and you can see it here with the flashes of brown, the fast flashes of green and blue. And we'll time out some of these waves again, knowing that we just saw a wave of cooler air. We'll see that moderating as we head into the weekend. It's possible as we get into Monday and Tuesday, we could see some areas a little bit warmer than average, likely not where we've got the thicker snowpack on the ground 
Uh, cooler air comes in on the backside of that system that brings the snow to the prairie Wednesday into Thursday. Uh, especially cool where we've got snow on the ground from that system. And then as we head into the end of next week, into uh, the early part of uh, the following week, March 28th through the 30th, perhaps seeing another warm up across the prairie. So uh, seeing a lot of this as we head through the next 10 days across the prairie. Calgary, you've got your coolest temperatures uh, shaping up here right now. And then again on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. If we look at Edmonton, same thing, coolest temperatures over the next week right now and then Tuesday of next week with warmer temperatures on either side there, highs right around zero or a few degrees above. Regina starting to warm up, warmest day is Monday, a high temperature of eight before we drop down to negative three for the high on Wednesday. Saskatoon, a similar look, climbing for a high of uh, four on Monday, negative four on Wednesday. And then in Winnipeg, uh, we still see that roller coaster ride. Cold now, warming up to 3 on Tuesday, negative temperatures Wednesday and Thursday, back above 0 as we head into the 27th through the 29th and 30th. We'll talk to you again on Monday here. I hope you have a great day, uh, a wonderful weekend. And again, we'll be back to look at the prairie uh, on Monday morning with our next Canadian Prairie forecast. And then Eric will have the, the in-depth look at the next one to two weeks in our Monday morning ag forecast video as well.